Zaniac. I am Lainey. I am Marshall. Today we're going to talk about The Lies That Bind by Emily Griffin. Uh, Emily Griffin is an author I have read before. She wrote the Something Borrowed, Something Blue. Uh, there's like a three or four books in this series, right? And I always kind of enjoyed them. I thought they were like well written. I liked them. Uh, so when this book came up for review on NetGalley, I was like, yeah, I'll try it. This girl has gone through a breakup with uh, a guy who basically just didn't want to be with her anymore like they just weren't compatible it hurt her really badly so she's in this kind of like mourning period about the relationship all her friends are like don't get back together with him no 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 so she's in a bar staring at her phone come on contemplating should i text my ex-boyfriend or not and this guy comes up to her and is like don't do it and she's like what and he's like don't don't text him and she's like, how did you know? And he's like, I could just tell. And so they basically talk through the night. He walks her home. They end up spending the night together, but they're not having sex, okay? So they're just spending the night. They were talking and, that, and they fell asleep, okay? So you come to find out that the, main, the guy's brother has a terminal illness. And he, the guy has to take his brother to England for a series of, like, a clinical trial. And he does. And so she starts this whole, like, email correspondence with him about the, themselves. And starts this kind of like an online relationship. So then she decides she's going to go visit him. And she does. And she meets the brother. And there are some things that happen that she's kind of like... Okay, well, that's weird that this happened. I don't really understand it, but it happened. And then she just forgets about it and goes on with life. So she comes back home. And then the guy comes back from London with his brother. This is all important. I, I, I'm I, telling you. I, I have to work up to a certain spot. The guy uh, comes back and goes to talk to her. But something has happened and he's very upset. And he's like, I don't have a lot of time to talk to you, so I gotta go. So he leaves. The next day is September 11th. He works in the World Trade Center. You know what has happened. The main character is looking for him because she doesn't know where he is. Did he go to work? She finds a like poster of him where someone is looking for him also. She's a, by the way, this girl's a reporter. So she's got skills to find people, right? Okay. Right. So she sees the poster and she's like, okay, um, well, maybe I'll call this person and we can like trade information. Trade information. Well, it's the guy's wife. It's a good thing she didn't have sex with him. Actually, she did. <laughs> she just didn't that night. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, she becomes friends with the guy's wife. Yeah, so that's where I'm gonna stop. Um, even though I gave you some information there, I did not spoil this book. So, like, I get this feeling like, what if he's a time traveler or something? Like, he 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 knows what she's gonna do because he's from the future and he knows her from the future. And he's come back to save her from a horrible mistake. I don't I I don't know, but that. That would be interesting to me. It would be, but no. But I like sci-fi, so. No. <laughs> um, so my be my biggest problem with this book was, oh my gosh, they had me up and like, on through 9-11. I was like, yes, because, you know, I remember 9-11. Um, so <laughs> I was, I was like, intrigued. But then it just started to unravel a little bit about what was happening. And it was like far too much happening. And then there was just stuff like, I don't, I don't know how... How, why I understand it, I just I don't know. It could it could have been I was I was left wanting from the ending. Um, I'm not saying that it wasn't wrapped up because it was wrapped up. It followed through. There was a linear story. It made sense. I just don't think I liked it personally. It was a personal thing, um, meaning that for you you might read it and go, oh, this is a really great book. Cool. Um, I, so I only give it three stars. <laughs> Not a bad book, just not, not for first. me. Not for me. Thank you so much for watching our review of The Lives That Bind. And until next time, stay zany. Bye.